a very special shout out to all of you that this is the one year anniversary of running my How to Write the Future podcast. There's all these different ways that we can look into the future. And if you want to speak to some of the major things that you see coming that we might all go, oh, yeah, totally understand. And then some surprising things. If there's like a top three list or a top five list, maybe a global scale, but of course, root it in what you know for your region. Well, writing a book is designed to be an individual endeavor. Marketing is not you have to reach out there. And it is hard. They need to know who I am as a real person behind the keyboard, which is hard to do. I think that's a big one. Don't ever complicate it. I'm big on sharing stories, personal stories. You don't have to get crazy personal. I probably get more personal than most people are comfortable with, but that's because <laughs> I have no shame for some reason. I really do firmly believe that if you just put your work out there, you can get eyeballs on it, which is the hardest part. Eventually, they're going to read it. The more you do your research and do things like hopefully go to Native events or watch them on YouTube, powwows and things like that, those things will start standing out. I write historical crime fiction because I like to have justice for all. This idea of being very analytical about the past in order to understand patterns, particularly what's useful with the math that I've done and the anthropology is they're both pattern recognition kind of sciences, I guess you could call them, or methodology. As fiction writers, we are sharing parts of ourselves onto the page, and that can be very scary. As if it's not already very obvious to everyone who's either watching or listening to this we can feel beth's energy piercing through the universe as she speaks about all of these things that she absolutely adores these are the things that bring her alive these are also the things that will bring her marketing alive